<laughs> yeah, I'm fine. And if we win, uh, it's always good. And um, yeah, we had um, a lot of chances in the first half. But also, I think they had also one big chance. Sometimes you're bad luck, you consider goal. Or even though we were much better, this is football. But um, that's why I'm happy that we, after the first goal, I think it was a release also for the team. And uh, we continued to play good football and uh, had some yeah, really nice goals. You know, to play a different role from the joueur position, how was it like for you? Yeah, I mean, um, it wasn't an um, easy role for me, but um, uh, as a player and then um, as a player in the national team, I think um, you have to be ready and then you have to um, adjust to whatever position that you have to play because at the end of the day, we are here to serve Ghanaians and then um, whichever way that we can serve Ghanaians, I think we have to do it. So. Had to do it so and then uh, it went well so i think um, i give to the coach right now colleagues the floor is open let me go to you first mention your name your media house and the question for whoever you want to ask david Apple and Parf, a question to gideon mentor just a follow-up you played in the left center back role and i think two games now in nigeria and then this particular game and we know you have the left back for you as a player, which is your preferred position, left back or left centre back? Um, I would say uh, left back, because uh, that's that's what I've been playing uh, since now. So um, I'll say left back. All right, him. Yeah, I'm Benjamin Kwanza from Connected Company. I want to ask Coach, what did the Madagascar did in the first half that worked for them that we're not able to score a goal in the first half, but second half you came to score. What did they do right in the first half? Good goalkeeper. Good goalkeeper. I think we had, I don't know, I didn't count the shots on the goal, but he had some good saves. And we created chances, so I'm happy. And, but this is football, not all shots will go on. So they blocked some, the goalkeeper was good. And um, that's what, that was it. In all, I was satisfied. Even though it was 0 0, there was nothing much I could say. They just had to continue. They, the um, second half, they switched the uh, the formation uh, into a fallback um, because I think we created a lot of chances. That's why I think they wanted to to stop that and bring one more man in the midfield. But uh, this also worked for us. It was fine. Um, we were prepared for that, and um, yeah, I think uh, we had some good pressing situations on the right side with Dennis Odoi, and this uh, actually uh, broke the glass. That's you. My name is Sijo, commenting back for Broadcaster Star Times. Um, as Gideon said, Coach, he says that he chose a different role today. I want to ask that what went into that position of thinking because there were other centre backs or players who are in natural position or have those players in natural position. So what went into the thinking to use Gideon in that position? Yeah, um, he, did it, he did good against Nigeria in the, in the free chain. Um, and I'm, yeah, especially when we, I know that we are the favorites, we have the ball more, I feel more comfortable if somebody can do it to this left foot. Um, because this, um, actually the, our number six, Baba, was mostly free, and it's more difficult from the left side to play him with the right foot. So if you're a natural left footed, we can use that space more and we can play to Baba Idruso easier, much easier then uh, right for it. That was actually the, the, the reason why I decided like that. And I know he's capable of good defending and some good tackles as well. So that worked. Um, I think uh, he's capable of so much more even, and uh, maybe he doesn't know. <laughs> Let's hear from you. Ernest <coughs> Asari, <coughs> Daily Graphic. Uh, coach, Ernest Asari, Daily Graphic. Daily Graphic, yeah. good. Coach, congratulations. Um, Having won this first match, um, Ghanaians, the expectation that Ghanaians would have high expectations of you. What do you guys do want to do for Ghana to find the senior um, team is concerned and how are you going to do it? Legacy. Yes. Yeah. Last time, how are you going to do it? What legacy would you do, guys? And how are you going to do it? First of all, thank you. Um, I think it's so difficult to talk about legacy. This is the third match and um, if it would be, I don't know, the 30th match, then I think the question is okay, but what, what can I say now? I mean, three matches, 
we didn't lose one, we won, this is the first match we won, so I think it's not the right timing to talk about legacy, sorry. All right, um, Betty, your name. All right, so my name is Betty Yos and I work with Style FM. This question is to the coach. It's been a while Ghana recorded such a scoreline in a game, and I mean, most, most often we say that we are not sharp up front, we are unable to score goals. How different is this your team? I mean, being able to record three goals in a game against Madagascar. Yeah, I can't really say actually because I haven't watched all the other matches. Um, by the time I was assistant coach, I think we had also some some good matches. Zimbabwe. Yes, against Zimbabwe, we created a lot of chances in some other matches. Um, but um, yeah, this is this is sometimes the way it is. I think the the the, the first goal was a great relief for us, and. Um, and gave us more space, and um, we brought in some new, or some fresh players, and they they used their speed, like a guy like Osman Bukari um, did well also, and um, yeah, um, it, I feel good. It was I was happy, and that we scored at least, and um, I, that actually I was more happy that um, in general we created a lot of chances, and um, if it goes in or not, it depends on so many other things. Um, Small details, but um, I was happy that we scored and won. Okay. Yeah, coach, uh, my name is Sheikh Topic, um, editor for Football Media Ghana. Let's go. But my question is with regards to Gideon, uh, in the last two games against Nigeria and today, we've seen him play in the center back position. And you've explained why you used him there. Does that suggest that you would love to have a Ghanaian player who is left footed and a natural centre back in your team. Uh, yeah, sh sure. I mean, I mean, we we have so much qualities, and it could be that in a different game, maybe where we have a strong opponent, I would have decided for. Uh, Moment of the Jonathan Mensa, it depends on the opponent and on the game. So it doesn't mean that uh, you have to be left footed, but just for this game, I thought it would be the better solution. And um, um, But in general, it's always good to have all kinds of possibilities. All kinds of possibilities. So left footed uh, uh, the defender um, is, is good, and uh, but also right footed. And yeah, if you have the the, the the possibility to use what you have, I think this is this is this is a luxury. So this is surely what every coach is looking for. Okay, you. We have just three more questions than you have. Yes, my name is Pedro Champo. Want to be really a crime, uh, coach? Uh, since you had a lot of chances in the game, and Ghana is going for the World Cup, and that means you need to score. If you get the chances and you can't score. Uh, it's go against you. How do you resolve this situation? Because at first we're not creating chances, and now we are creating and scoring too is a problem. So how do you work on that? Yes, I think scoring is a problem after three goals. <laughs> yes, I don't know. <laughs> if these are the right words, and uh, for me, the most important thing, like I said, is to create chances and the goals will come. And uh, this is the most important um, thing. Um, the other, if the chances will go in, and not sometimes, it's, it's not me, it's in God's hand. Sometimes it goes to the post inside, sometimes to the post outside. Sometimes the, the goalkeeper has a, from the opponent has a very good day, like today. He was excellent, I have to say. And this is, this is football. So we just take it like that, but I was, like I said, I was satisfied. I, I don't see any problems uh, uh, in scoring goals. Okay, the lady in the last Sorry. Hi, Coach. Uh, Rosemary Kane from Volta One TV in Bo. Uh, my question is, uh, Ghanaians do complain of Jordan Ayo not scoring. I'd like to know if there's something special about him that you do that we don't know and you know and you would like to tell us. And also about the uh, local players in your collapse. 
I did not get to see them too on the bench, so I'd like to know why they were not part of the league. Okay, first of all, um, I think I said it yesterday again. For me, it's not about local or not local. I don't care. Wherever, if you're from Tamale or if you're from Cape Coast, it's about performance and quality. And uh, this is the way I decide. So when I see a player, especially in the training, but also when I watch video clips um, or visit matches, this is what I look at. And, and so the, the players who started, they deserved it, as well as John. Jordan had good trainings, uh, created chances, he himself had some chances. The goalkeeper, like I said, had an excellent day. And uh, this is how it is. And uh, yeah, if you watch the Premier League, sometimes maybe you see Jordan scoring. Um, I think this last goal was two weeks ago or three weeks, I don't know. So, but it's, it's, it's not a, a, a big problem if somebody doesn't score. For me, it's about create chances and develop something and this is what he did today also and so I'm satisfied. To whom? Uh, Joe Kelly for TV Africa. Uh, for coach, first of all, congratulations on the win. Um, who tonight was your man of the match and why? Oh, I'm very bad in these things. <laughs> Thank you very much for the congratulations. Um, I think uh, we, we did very good teamwork. If you see the goals, and but also the defensive line, um, yeah, maybe George or Wallace were not that good because he had nothing to do. <laughs> so, but um, but the rest was good. Um, good tackles in the defense, midfield. Baba was Idrissi was taking good positions. We had a lot of overlapping runs at the flanks um, with, with Baba Rahman. Created a lot of chances. Uh, Odoi, I think he was winning the ball uh, before the goal. So. Yeah, for me, I, I can't say. I, 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 Felisa Finajan had a goal, had good runs, really good runs, uh, deep runs. Uh, was holding the ball, was fighting, was good pressing against the ball. The same like Jordan. In the second half, we, we were lacking a bit of, you could see that the, the energy was, was level was going a bit lower. Um, so we changed, and, uh, but I'm, overall I'm satisfied. Also with the substitutions. For a coach.